Hi, this is Don McAllister and welcome to another weekly tip video. One not too obvious feature in Safari is the ability to switch on private browsing. Now, when invoked, your browsing history is kept private, along with some additional functions to further protect your privacy. However, there are some differences on how it operates on both macOS and iOS. So let's start with private browsing on the Mac first. As you can see, I've opened Safari and I have three tabs here, Screencast Online. I also have one for the Bing website and one for Apple. Now, the thing to point out here is in the smart search panel here, this is a light background. I've also switched off dark mode as well, just to make things a little bit clearer when we go into private browsing. Now on the Mac, the way into private browsing is using the file option. So file new private window or shift command N, and that will produce a new Safari window which is slightly different. And as you can see in the smart search panel, we have this dark background. There's also a message directly underneath. Safari will keep your browsing history private for all tabs in this window. And after you close this window, Safari won't remember the pages you visited, your search history, or your autofill information. Probably worth mentioning that it won't display uh, downloads in your downloads list on a, a non-private browsing session, uh, although those files are left on your Mac, of course. And also some changes to cookies and website data are saved as well. But let's go ahead and uh, log on to a different website. So we'll go to ESPN. Let's say you want to keep your sports fanaticism private. We'll go to ESPN. OK, and we'll create another tab. I'm going to accept cookies here. We'll create another tab. So command T, and if I go to popular, uh, let's say oh, some travel information, I want to book a holiday uh, in private so no one can find out where I'm off to. So there are our two tabs. Now, as you can see, the only difference really is that this initial screen, this uh, non-private browsing session has this white background, whereas on here, we have this black background. Now on the Mac, if I close this window down, so if I just close the window, and then open a new private window, you'll see it hasn't remembered where we've been to. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS-related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members-only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So. If you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a Screencasts Online member.